Hello listeners, welcome back to Sumi's Chai and Chat. This is our 5th episode and episode number 3 on Gandhi. Today I'm exploring Gandhi's life as a husband. In his book he mentions a very interesting point about his marriage and he was married at the age of 13. so we will learn more about his experiences and how we can reflect on that stay tuned as gandhi talks about his marriage he mentions that he's not really happy that he got married at that early age Imagine being 13 year old and having a commitment of taking care of your wife as you raised in a male dominated society and along with your wife you also have your brothers or other people in your family whom you have to be caring for the main reason he was um, or he got married when he was 13 is according to gandhi it says it was purely the convenience and economy because two of his older brothers were deciding the elders were deciding to get them married and they were ready with people or the girls for them to be married and similarly for gandhi as well they wanted to get him married too because it will save money right and they were not rich they didn't come from a very rich background moving on gandhi mentions that hindu marriages are not simple one day affair or even a half day affair it is three day affair three days to sometimes it goes on to a week affair and you have to make preparations for the marriage for from three months to six months and the main importance is given for the guests you are buying gifts you're buying clothes you're buying jewelry and uh, setting up all those rituals planning for everything and gandhi remembers all these things even though it was um, he was young and of course it was a marriage and it's one of the biggest event in your life and therefore he mentions all these things how big event it was the funny thing is gandhi says that it was more of his um, remembering about the new clothes to wear or the drums that were beating rather than the happiness of getting married to somebody whom you are going to live forever and <laughs> it is very funny to read those lines that he was more excited to be wearing new clothes and they weren't even given enough notice that they were getting married it was only with the preparations with the talking of other people they would get to know that they were getting married and um, thinking about that it just brings back how fortunate we are today that we get to spend time before marriage with people who we are dating or who we want to get married to we talk to them for number of days and um, um explore the idea of living together and build dreams together which we have moved a very long way from where we were before even though gandhi is not at that time rebelling the marriage or the idea of marriage he had time to reflect on that later on and he mentions that he remembers his father who was ill during that time took this 
time to do the rituals for the marriage in hindu marriage there will be certain rituals where the father of the bride and the groom have has to sit with the bride and groom and do many rituals in front of fire in front of other people and it is a lot of physically tiring and gandhi remembers that him when he was 13 year old getting married observing his father doing all those rituals for him and feeling sense of pride and uh, thankful and gratitude for them for his father especially however criticizing at the later age because he did not approve that it was right for him to be getting married at the age of 13 both for him and for his wife as well as a part of his marriage he also talks about how he played a role of husband and he was not a very free letting the wife exploring kind of husband he was very possessive he wanted to protect he wanted to reform his wife he wanted to his wife to follow his path and follow his change how he grew he wanted her to follow him and it's very typical um, thinking how men in those days thought especially in india as a husband what they expected from their wives even though with that he mentions that he was not somebody who would not be faithful he gave faithfulness very important special place in his heart and mind and his wife was always um faithful to him if that's what he expected of her as well and therefore it was not a question of uh, becoming um, unfaithful at any time even though he was married at such a young age with that added possessiveness towards his wife where he doubted if she went to temple or if she went to talk to her friends so he would have that control or he wanted to have a control on his wife where she also is faithful and um follows his path especially his wife kasturba is her name she was not somebody who followed rules and she would go play around and imagine she was young as well young girl 13 year old girl and uh, having to go through marriage at that age and also growing up and becoming a teenager which imagining current situation it is really a big deal and uh, there are a few instances where gandhi mentions that how jealous he would be or how possessive he would be for his wife kasturba gandhi's impression or gandhi's uh, observation about his wife kasturba is that she was of course illiterate which was a fact and uh, by nature she was also a very simple person independent and uh, perceive, perceiving so it would have been hard for both of them because him being persistent person and uh, her also being a persistent person they both would have had certain clashes at some point however gandhi mentions that she was not as ambitious which kind of resolves that conflict part i would like to end this chapter here today and pick up more on this tomorrow again so as an action item to conclude i would like my listeners to think about your teenagers where you were at the age of 13 what were you doing how was your mindset and what were your dominant thoughts at that time see you all soon bye bye